The best things in school life are not the chapters taught by the teachers, but they are the lessons taught by our own experiences. Today's guest on Back to School is Shreya Talpade, who has carved a niche for himself in the world of Bollywood and also Marathi films. Welcome Shreya on Back to School with your host Suhan Mubhani. You were a student of Shri Ram Welfare Society High School in Andheri West. Yes, I was. I am sure the school gave you a rainbow of memories. Some pleasant, some unpleasant. Can you revisit some of those and your school years? It's a lot of pleasant memories actually. Uh, of uh, my school and my friends. Uh, actually, you know, uh, the best one is uh, I started acting pretty much in school in one of our skits, which was uh, a part of the teacher's day celebration. And we were supposed to do a skit and uh, the skit was uh, called Modern Ramayan. Uh, and that time when, when we were rehearsing for it, I was not part of the uh, skit. I was just doing backstage. Um, but then suddenly what happened is the girl who was playing uh, Sita Mata, uh, she uh, decided to call it quits at the last minute. you know, And we didn't have anyone to play uh, the role of uh, Sita Mata. But what I used to do is, when I used to do backstage, I would learn everybody's dialogues. Uh, I would just love to do that. So, because I knew everyone's dialogues, my friend suggested that I should play the part of Sita in the play. And uh, obviously, there was no other girl who was willing to play that part. So, my first ever performance on stage was as a female actor uh, and I played the role of Sita. And the next year, we did Modern Mahabharat and I did the role of Draupadi. Luckily, my school uh, life ended after that, otherwise I would have done some more female characters. But there's some really fond memories uh, of school and I don't, I don't have any, um, any bad memories of school because I think, you know, those are the best years of your life uh, where you are not really tensed about anything, you're not worried about anything. And I'm, I'm glad that I'm in touch with uh, all my school friends even today. I'm sure you were asked this question at school. What would you like to become when you grow up? What was your answer at that point in time? Oh, yes. Uh, not that many people had uh, too many expectations from me. Um, uh, you know, because I remember when I went to collect my 10 standard uh, final report card, my class teacher was surprised uh, when she saw my marks. I got some 78% in 10th at that time. Now to it, people get what 90 plus and 95 and things like that. But 78 at that point was a very big figure. And she was very surprised that I got 78 and she asked me, did you copy? So I said, no ma'am, I didn't copy. I really worked hard for it. But at that point, there was only one teacher of mine, uh, my Sanskrit uh, teacher, my guru. Uh, he always felt that uh, I should do more in life and I should probably be a, a doctor. So he wanted me to become a doctor. If you ask me honestly, I had no clue what to do. Because you know, you keep watching different people and you keep getting inspired by different people. So sometimes you want to be a doctor, sometimes you want to be an Air Force pilot. Sometimes when you, when you watched uh, Boris Becker playing tennis, I wanted to play tennis. Uh, then when I saw Sunil Gavaskar, Kapil Dev and Sachin Tendulkar play cricket, I wanted to play cricket. So there are a lot of things that I wanted to do. Eventually, I ended up becoming an actor. So, how did you ensure a good balance between being a good student and your high school life? Luckily for me, uh, in my school, my teachers were great, my friends were great. And though we used to have our uh, moments of fun and being naughty in school, we would also make sure that, you know, we would score good marks, try and score good marks. So, my friends were uh, more instrumental in helping me maintain that balance. Had it been not the case, then probably I wouldn't have been here today. But you know, um, if I somewhere maintained any balance, it is only <clears throat> thanks to my friends and my teachers. You have been a part of the Goldmall series in Bollywood. Hmm. So have you been involved in any sort of Goldmall in school? <laughs> no, not really. I remember we tried doing one Goldmall once in school, where we tried to bunk school and go and play cricket, but all of us were caught and punished uh, for that. And um, that was the only time I, we tried doing some Golmal, but it failed miserably. 
After that, we were all very good boys. You play a cricket obsessed boy in your movie Iqbal. Hmm. Sports are always an integral part of the school life. Hmm. How was your history with sports? I was okay in sports. Um, I would I would prefer playing uh, cricket and uh, table tennis and badminton. And uh, on on a sports day also, I would be pretty much involved in the sporting activities. Not much. But uh, I was okay, okay. In fact, in cricket, you know, I remember I was pretty much a kacha limbu. Uh, in our team, I used to be the twelfth man, and then I started uh, practicing cricket uh, under the guidance of Atre Kar Sir uh, at Shivaji Park. That's where I kind of uh, really honed my skills and my talent in cricket. And then I started playing better cricket, and I was a part of the playing eleven team after that. Were you a poster boy of your school, as in the topper of your school? Never. I was never really the poster boy of our school. Did you ever bunk tuitions? I had only one uh, tuition for only one subject. That was Sanskrit, and I never bunked it because uh, my guru, like I said, he was uh, uh, a very special person for me. I used to love him, and I used to love the way he would teach me. Because you know there was one subject that I had started almost hating because I didn't score in that subject, but my guru made me love the particular thing. You know, he made me fall in love with uh, Sanskrit, and I remember I used to go to his place after school, and uh, his wife used to call her Ba. My guru was around eighty years old at that time, and his wife was seventy-five, and she would offer me. um coffee and cakes and biscuits and things like that after <laughs> i went to their house and theplas and some really amazing gujarati food so i would never bunk my tuitions did you ever fail in any subject i never failed in any subject the subject which you hated the most i think maths is something that i really hated geometry Or something that I didn't like at all. Anxiety, the mental health tsunami of today's generation, seems to be catching up with the school students given the hyper competitive environment. What is the one piece of advice you would give to the students? You know, there's this word that we use constantly, which is chill. We don't really chill. You know, I will just say that people and students, especially, just need to relax. They need to play some kind of sport. I'll tell you what. When I was giving my board exams, even if I had a paper the next day, I would make sure that I would go down in the evening and play cricket for at least two hours. That would help me rejuvenate. That would relax my mind. That would calm my nerves, and I would study better. After that, even if I studied for a couple of hours, I pretty much knew everything that I wanted to. So I think there's no point getting anxious about anything. because at the end of the day failing in one exam is not really the end of the world okay so it's okay sometimes it's okay if you're not able to pass or some it's okay if you're not able to get those many marks in a particular subject you may be good in something else you need to find out what that thing is and you need to put your energies over there today in fact you have the opportunities to work on varied things like you're sitting here i wouldn't really imagine or dream of uh me sitting and interviewing someone when i was your age but today you have the opportunity you know you should try and make the most of that do you believe that social media is reshaping the education system today your thought i don't think social media is really shaping up anything today okay so yes the education system is a great system in its own and uh, that in itself is a very strong system but i don't think social media is doing anything i won't say it's not doing anything constructive but nothing for the educational system a first venture student mm, knows, knows the answer, the for every answer to every problem yes whereas a last venture knows how to face every problem do you second this opinion to a certain extent yes i won't really second the entire thing because i've seen certain first ventures who've known how to face life as well uh, and certain last ventures who've not known what to do with uh their career per se but um, yes to a certain extent certain last benches are more street smart than first benches i am still in touch with your school teachers all of them it has been said that it is vital to incorporate technology into student education from an early age mm. do you regret missing out on technology during your school years as compared to today's kids sometimes yes i mean obviously things keep changing change is the only constant so there are certain things like you know using your computers or your phone 
your kids are born with all of that we had to learn all of that and by the time we had passed school is when these things got introduced in our school so it took us some time to get used to all these gadgets and things like that so yeah sometimes you feel we just need to put on slightly extra effort uh, to learn that had we learned it a little earlier things would have been a little different do you agree on the importance bit of technology yeah yes absolutely technology is here to help us but there's no point becoming a slave of that particular thing lastly if you have to give a message for students watching the show in marathi what would it be and also translate the same in english i would rather say it in english because people speaking in marathi understand english as well right so i think uh, the one message or one thing that i've learned in my career is that it's never too late and you should never give up on anything so if you want to achieve something you know you should give it your heart and your soul and then you 100% get what you want in life so it's never too late and never give up thank you for being on back to school with me suhan mohani thank you suhan it was lovely talking to you all the best